Osteoporosis is one of the most common bone diseases affecting 200 million women worldwide, demonstrating its widespread influences on society. In order to combat this devastating disease, it is necessary to understand the structure and stresses that the bones in our body experience. In the fight against osteoporosis is Cornell professor Christopher Hernandez. Earning his undergraduate degree at Harvard and his master's and PhD at Stanford, Professor Hernandez works to improve the field of biomedical engineering. So the research in my lab is concentrating right now on understanding the development and treatment of osteoporosis. And a lot of people think that's odd for an uh, engineer to be looking at osteoporosis. Mm -hmm. uh, but when you think about what osteoporosis is, it means that somebody has fractured a bone uh, because the bone was weak one way or another. And fracture itself is a mechanical event. And so that's a, a classic example of using engineering technologies and techniques to understand medi uh, medical problems. So I think, I think in the next 10 years, we'll, we might start seeing the fruits of our labor in the field of tissue engineering. Mm -hmm. Now, tissue engineering is the field where you work on replacement organs or components or other biomaterials that will cause the body to generate the replacement organs that the body would not have done normally on its own. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think those are that's that's one field that's very exciting, and I think uh, we may start to see the fruits. We see we're seeing a little bit of it now. Mm -hmm. The field's really only you know 10, 15 years old. Um, we're seeing a little bit of benefit now, but I think in the in the next 10 years we'll start seeing a little bit more. Um, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be growing uh, people new uh, livers or hearts anytime soon, mm -hmm. uh, but I think uh, that we'll be starting to make real advancements toward that and there will actually be some applications. Wow. Well, I think it depends on how you look at mm -hmm. it, right? I think the average lifespan will go up, mm -hmm. um, yeah, but most of what we're doing as biomedical engineers is improving healthcare. So in other words, improving things when things get mm -hmm. troublesome. So as far as addressing the issue of aging, you know, how do we turn someone's longevity to from 80 years to 100 years or 120 years? Um, we're not addressing that so much as while we're alive, mm -hmm. keeping our bodies running in a way that is pleasant mm -hmm. and that we get it. So I think uh, instead of really addressing um, lifespan, I think what we're addressing is quality of life. Okay.